The Indiana Pacers tasting postseason success for the first time in 10 years as they are moving on to the semifinals. This season, the Milwaukee Bucks faced a surprising and early exit from the 2024 NBA playoffs. It was really unexpected because a lot of people thought they would be competing for a championship. Lucas. Let's look closely at what went wrong for them. To start, injuries really hurt the Bucks. Giannis injured his calf right before the playoffs began. This hurt a lot because Giannis couldn't play when the games mattered the most. Also during the series, Damian Lillard got injured. He had an Achilles strain that made it tough for him to play well. Missing these two key players at their best made things very difficult for the Bucks. Another big issue was the team's defense, which was really bad this year. The Bucks traded away Drew Holiday, which was one of their best defenders, in order to get Damian Lillard, who is more known for his scoring rather than his defending. This really hurt the Bucks' defense this season. In fact, they had the worst defense in the last five years. The coaching changes also added to the Bucks' problems. Changing coaches during the season can really disrupt a team, and it really seemed to disrupt the Bucks. They started with Adrian Griffin as a coach, but TD didn't last long because of disagreements inside the team, and he was replaced by Doc Rivers. When Doc Rivers took over, the season was already halfway through, and he faced a tough job trying to improve the team. This lack of stable coaching made it hard for the Bucks to find a good rhythm and play consistently. The Bucks roster beyond Giannis and Lillard lacked the depth it needed to compete when injuries struck. Players who were supposed to step up struggled, and the team couldn't keep up their performance without their stars. The Milwaukee Bucks' quick exit from the playoffs was due to several major issues. Significant injuries to their best players at the worst possible time, a weaker defense due to changes in their player lineup, and too many changes in coaching. Looking ahead, if the Bucks want to have a better chance next season, they need to keep their players healthy, strengthen their defense, and have a consistent coaching strategy. Odds are the Bucks will run this team back next year, and Dame has recently said that he wants to stay in Milwaukee. He believes having a full offseason will really benefit him and the team. Having a regular offseason and being able to actually, you know, train and be able to do live stuff. Last year I couldn't do certain things because I couldn't get hurt because I knew I was going to get traded. So um, I think going into to next season, um, people will be, they'll be really surprised that, you know, how much of an impact all of these things actually did have um, when they see me, when they see me come back. But with the Bucks having back-to-back first-round exits, their future isn't looking very great. If you enjoyed this video, a like and subscribe would mean a ton. I haven't posted in a while and I'm trying to get back into it. I hope you enjoyed the video.